Hello everyone, it's Shannon here from Craft Ghetto. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this fun, puffy rainbow card featuring some fabulous products by Marvi Uchida. First, let's take a look at the waffle flower products I'll be using today. First up is the Little Painters Combo. This comes with the Little Painters stamp set as well as the Little Painters matching die. I'll also be using the Rainbow stamp set. I use a sentiment from that. I'll also use the Rainbow Word die to complete my sentiment. And I'll create a sentiment strip using the Sentiments die. I'm going to start with the Little Painter stamp set. I'll remove one of the brushes from this set. I'm going to actually stamp this on some Canson Bristol cardstock. First, I'm going to mount this paintbrush on my acrylic block. So I'll just turn the stamp over so the smooth side is up and then just pick it up with my acrylic block. I'm going to stamp this image in VersaFine Onyx Black ink. This is a waterproof ink because I will be watercoloring these paintbrushes. So I will just stamp it here now that it's inked up. After I lightly press all over the paintbrush, I will pick up my acrylic block and then ink up the paintbrush again and stamp it another time. I'm going to repeat this process till I have five paintbrushes stamped. I actually end up stamping this paintbrush six times just because I didn't like the way one of them stamped, so I won't use the fourth paintbrush that I stamped. And now I'm going to move on to coloring. I'll be doing all my coloring today with these two packs of Marve Uchida Color In Brush Tip Markers. This right here is the pastel set, and the one on the left is the bright set. I'll pull out a couple markers from the pastel set and use these to color in these paintbrushes. I'm going to spray some water onto my palette here, and I'll use a number one round brush to do my painting. I'm going to start by directly coloring the left side of the paintbrush with the brown and the gray markers. I will then color a little bit on my palette with the light blue, mix that blue ink with some water, and then go directly to my paper to add some color to the paint bristles. Now I'm going to blend out the brown that's on the handle. I wet my paintbrush with a tiny amount of water and then move the brush over where I drew that brown before, and that will kind of create the roundness of the handle of the brush. I'll do the same process for that little metal part holding the paint bristles as well. I'm going to repeat this process for the remaining paint brushes. Just jumping ahead here, now I'm just adding that little bit of blue to the bristles and that will finish up these paint brushes. Now I'll just hold up these paint brushes to the camera so you can see the coloring and the nice gradation we have. With our images colored, I'm now going to move on to my sentiment. Part of my sentiment is going to be this rainbow die cut. I want it to be colored rainbow, so I'm going to use some more markers. I'm going to pull a lot here from the bright set and set them out in rainbow order on my workspace and grab even a couple from the pastel set as well. I am going to color a little section, basically the dimensions of this rainbow die cut with these markers so that the word rainbows is also colored rainbow. I'm going to start with my red and then work my way through all my rainbow colors. The nice thing about these markers is they do blend a little bit so you can really get a nice transition from one color to the next. I just blend over a little bit of my previous color with the new color and that kind of creates the gradation. This is a very small scale gradation so it is a little bit hard to see the transition and I'm using a several colors because I want to get the whole rainbow here on this die cut but I am getting nice gradation or nice transition from one color to the next. I'm layering a couple of markers here for that last purple. I want it to be really dark purple to match the puffy marker I use later. So that's why I, I ended up doing something really dark and layering the markers because I wanted a really dark purple color. Now that my uh, rainbow section is colored and my and I, we've already colored all the paintbrushes, I'm now ready to die cut everything out. I grabbed the matching die for the paintbrushes and I'm now centering it on the stamped image and then using a little bit of micro pore tape to hold it down. I'm going to center that rainbow's die, word die cut or word die and then use a little tape to hold it down. I went ahead and ran it through my die cutting machine and now I will remove the tape and then pop out the die cuts. First I'll pop out the rainbow word die cut. This is a very delicate die cut so I'm going to carefully pull out the rainbow word and then you'll see how beautiful that rainbow looks and it'll match perfectly our puffy rainbow which we create later. 
I'll put that aside and now I'm going to pop out the paintbrush that we die cut as well so you can see how perfectly that die cuts out that paintbrush. I'll have to die cut each one of the remaining four paintbrushes out as well. Now that I have all my paintbrushes die cut out, I'm ready to start arranging them on my A2 panel of white cardstock. This panel is four and a quarter by five and a half. I'm going to arrange these paintbrushes in a pyramid shape, so that center paintbrush will be the tallest and the other paintbrushes will be in descending order. I'm going to start by trimming the two paint paintbrushes that are on either side of that center paintbrush. I stack them up and then just use a pair of scissors to trim off about a half an inch off of the bottom. Then I will grab the last two paintbrushes and trim off even more. It's going to be about an inch off of the bottom of these two paintbrushes. With my paintbrushes all trimmed, I now can add foam tape to the back of each of them. So I jumped ahead here and I have now foam tape behind all my paintbrushes and I'm now going to start to remove the backing and adhere them to my panel. I'm going to start with my tallest paintbrush and I am using the grid lines on my work surface to help me uh, make sure I get that paintbrush centered and then I can use the remaining space that's left on my um, panel to help me arrange the, the um, paintbrushes that are on the left side and the right side of the, br the center brush. I'll just stick down the last paintbrush and then I'll be ready to move on to creating my puffy rainbow. I'm going to use Marvi Uchida puffy velvet markers to create my rainbow today. I have five colors, a red, a yellow, a green, a blue, and a purple. These are actually fabric markers, but they do work on paper as well. I will arrange them in rainbow order and I'm going to start with the red. To get the paint to start flowing the very first time, you have to press down on the tip of the marker and that will release the paint. I've actually already used these before so the paint is ready to go, but just to get a lot of paint down onto my cardstock, I do press down several times, a couple times I should say, with the uh, marker just to release a fair amount of paint down onto the cardstock. Then I take my marker and kind of pull that paint out, stretch it out. That is what gives that look of a paint swipe. I'll even add little drops right at the end of the paint to really look like a paint swipe. And I do this for all five colors. And I do have a fair amount of this paint on my paper. If I were to tip it up vertically, I might have even a little bit of running, so don't be afraid to get a fair amount onto your cardstock. And this is not completed yet. We do have to still heat set each one of these uh, paint swipes. That is what gives it the puffy look. So as soon as I finish this purple paint swipe, then we will move on to our he heat tool and doing the final touch to this puffy paint. So I actually have my heat gun heating up off camera here. You do want to start with a nice hot uh, heat gun. That way you can reduce the amount of warping that you have to your cardstock. And I am now just going over each one of those paint stripes and what is happening, which is a little bit hard to see on camera, but the, the paint is starting to bubble and puff up. And this just gives a really cool texture to your um, card. So now I will hold the uh, card front up to the camera so you can see that puffy paint. We got some great dimension from our puffy paint and again it really adds fun texture, something different and I think there's a lot of uses for this puffy paint. Uh, you could use it for clouds, for ice cream, maybe even um, fur on an animal. I think there's a lot of fun you can have with these puffy paints and they come with tons of different colors. So now I'm moving on. I went and die cut the sentiments die from some black cardstock. I save the scrap of black cardstock and I'm going to mount that into my Misty. I found this is the best way to stamp on a sentiment or to create a sentiment strip. I'm grabbing a sentiment from the rainbow stamp set here and I am centering it in the negative space from where I die cut my sentiment strip. Then I will pop my sentiment strip right back in there. 
I'll put some anti-static powder down because I am going to do some heat embossing. I will ink up my sentiment with Versamark ink, which is an, an embossing ink, and then I will stamp this down once, and then I will open it up. It did stick a little bit, but no worries. I just pop that sentiment die right back into the negative space and then ink up again and stamp a second time. I do like to stamp uh, anything I'm going to heat emboss twice with Versamark, Versamark ink. I find that I get better heat embossing results when I do that. So I'm now just push, put, taking my sentiment strip, putting on the white embossing powder, and now I'm in heat setting it. I'll hold up the camera here so you can see my sentiment nice and heat embossed and perfect. Nice dimension too. Now we're ready to put together our card. I went ahead and trimmed down some vellum to about one and a half by five and a half strip and I am going to place that over the handles of my paint brushes just so the sentiment's very clear and stands out so you can read it. I will center it then fold over the edges, crease them down so they lay fat, flat. I will grab my tape runner here and run a little tape on the side of my card front and then I'll just press down the vellum onto that and that will secure it in place. Now I'll move on to adhering my front panel to my card base. This is an A2 top folding card base. I just ran my tape runner again over the front of my card base and then I'll just press down my panel. Now I'm going to move on to my sentiment. I have the rainbows die cut and then my sentiment strip. The sentiment strip goes on top. I'm just going to kind of center them here on that strip of vellum. And once I get everything in place, I will grab a piece of microfiber tape, or micropore tape, I'm sorry, micropore tape, and place it on top. And that kind of holds everything in place. And then I will grab some liquid adhesive here and just place it on the back of the word die cut and the sentiment strip all over. Just little dots of glue, not too much because I don't want it to um, squish out from behind the sentiment when I press it down in place. So now that I've got the the, the sentiment with glue on the back, I'll flip it over and press it down. And then I will remove, carefully remove, the micropore tape holding down the sentiment strip and the word, the rainbow's word die cut too in place. Now one more thing I'd like to do, I'm just going to add a little dot over the eye in rainbows and poke out that little dot for the eye and then I will place it right on top. I'm going to grab my Marvi Uchida jewel picker to do this. I found this was the easiest way to handle these little eye dots and then just pop it on top of the glue. And now my card is complete. I'll hold our card up to the camera one last time so you can see all that beautiful puffy rainbow goodness as well as our really pretty sentiment. I love that blended, rainbow blended uh, rainbow's word die cut with the beautiful puffy rainbow uh, paint swipes up above. I hope you guys enjoyed today's card. If you want any more information on the products I use, please visit waffleflower.com. You can follow us on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook for more creative ideas. Thanks for watching.